So, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm still hungover since uh, Rock Rock in Osaka, the famous or should I say infamous rock club. So, how many shows are you doing here in Japan? Uh, we do four shows, two in Tokyo, one in Nagoya and uh, one in Osaka. Have you been to Japan and what's it like for you? Uh, we started to come here pretty early. The first time I wasn't even in the band, I was 98. And uh, I've been to Japan three times after that, so four times, I think, in total. And uh, it's getting better for each time. Uh, we have a great fan base in Japan, and they treat us really good. We love this place. Do you get an opportunity to actually see the country and experience a culture outside of the shows? Not really. I mean, <laughs> we can see the countryside when we ride the bullet train. That's basically it. And uh, the nightlife, <laughs> but <laughs> as usual. And the food. I mean, at least me and Andrew are big sushi fans. <laughs> So what are the venues like that you play in Japan? They're getting bigger for each time we get here. Um, I mean, we started out, when we came to J Japan first time, it was already big for us. Uh, but it's still growing and it's all good. How are the fans? Have they changed at all or uh, getting more and more people at each show? Yeah, it's getting more people. But the thing is with Japan, it's, it's weird. I mean, we have everything from small kids up to businessmen with suits and ties and everything and all, go, all goes crazy. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of different from in Europe or in the States. <laughs> And uh, the strange thing is in Japan that the front rows is always packed with girls, which is kind of rare. So is that kind of distracting while you're playing? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> 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 What was your most memorable experience on this tour so far? Uh, so far, I don't remember. I was at uh, the Rock Rock, you know.
So what's your experience been like here in Japan so far? It's Blade Runner. It's totally different. It's different from everything. How would you describe the shows as far as the fan base in Japan? It's crazy. Totally. I mean, as I said, they're very, very dedicated. And everybody that is on the show, they all have your albums. They all have everything pretty much. They all want to hear everything that you ever recorded. So it's, it's kind of demanding to, to play all your songs. But it's, it's, it's fun. and their first ever tour of Australia, playing to thousands of fans who've waited years to see the band on their continent. So how's Australia been treating you otherwise? Uh, it's excellent. It's great to be here for uh, the first time. And uh, so many people, so wild, so crazy. <laughs> Beautiful, you know, this huge uh, landscapes and the nature and the cool animals and everything. I, I really, really love it. Have the clubs that you've been playing uh, been packed, sold out? Always, yeah. fun things did you do in Australia? I uh, actually did ride a helicopter for, for an hour over Sydney, which was one of the coolest things I ever did. kind of scary at all? It was really scary. I mean, I don't really like to fly, first of all, but when we came up in the air, it was totally different. It was such a great experience. I was stunned. So I heard there's a video for Evil in the Closet. Uh, I think you have to ask Peter about that. I heard you guys shot a video yesterday. Don't know what you're talking about, man. Your presence kept me floating far from depths where secrets lie Maybe in another lifetime What the fuck? I guess Australia's been treating you well. Guess so, man. 